What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And in today's video, we're going to be covering Final Fantasy 13-2's Youth from the Future, No Crease. So quick fun fact guys, I did not play Final Fantasy 13-2, um, but I definitely have grown a liking to know as a character in the JP side of the game. And I definitely can't wait for him to be released in the global side of the game, so I can definitely get the full potential out of him that I was missing in the JP side of the game. So, um, <clears throat> I believe No's just different. Um, you know, in the never-ending roster that we currently have with melee attackers, Noel just definitely stands out. And, to, and in today's video, we're going to find out exactly how and why. So buckle up, guys. This is going to be sort of a longer one than usual. So before we actually look in depth of Noel's stats, I want to definitely make sure to thank Rem for having such a great website that really takes care of the needs of the community. You know, I always check the City of DB for updates and translations, especially for the JP version of the game. But all in all, I think it's a solid resource for all players, both new and old, uh, that play the City of Final Fantasy Opera on there. And I'll definitely leave a link in the description box below for you guys. So, first things first, Noel is a yellow crystal user that fulfills the role of a strict damage dealer. All of his skill commands have a plus, have plus variants that further boost his stats to continue dealing damage to single targets outside of his EX. He really excels in his HP, speed, and max brave. Um, but however, he does have a lower attack stat than most melee attackers, but that's fine. Because I believe he makes that up with his speed stat. As you guys can see, his speed is pretty much maxed out. Furthermore, looking at the stats table, we can see what base value stats Noel received at each level. For me, I'll be trying to max him out to level 70. Quite honestly, as soon as he gets released, I'm going straight in for him. Getting all of the summon boards, all that good stuff. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to be comparing his level 70 values uh, that are at his base all the way to his maximum values that he can have. Alright, so HP, he has 6,525 to 12,652. Initial Brave, 1,673 to 3,427. Max Brave, 3,697 to 10,256. Attack, 840 to 3,410. And Defense, 1,004 to 3,620. So always keep in mind, guys, these are just the space stats, and the max stats will vary depending on the gear that you have equipped at it and at its current level. So now we're going to be getting into Noel's command abilities. So Tempest Strike is a two-hit Brave plus HP attack that has seven initial uses. It does have a plus variant that changes when the target is currently in the break status prior to using the ability, and its Brave can overflow up to 120% for normal usage. Um, also, the plus variant Brave can overflow up to 150%, so something to keep in mind, okay? It additionally extends the duration of last hunter of the last hunter buff that is granted by No Skill 2, which is the Gale Fang, which we'll get into that in just a second, for 6 turns. Furthermore, the plus variant acts sort of similar to Vayne's Force of Will skill, as it will re-break the target before applying the actual Brave hits. So, I really do like this mechanic, you know, that we see with both Noel and Vayne. It allows you to delay the enemy from attacking while also dishing out some sweet damage that gives you sort of an advantage over the enemies in the long run. Alright, so moving on to uh, Noel's skill 2, Gale Fang. It is a 4 hit melee single target attack that has 4 initial usages. It will grant Noel 1 stack of Last Hunter for 3 turns with a cap at 3 stacks. So just like his skill 1, um, <clears throat> Tempest Strike, Gale Fang also has a plus variant that can be util utilized when the target is currently in a break state. And the last hunter skill, <clears throat> or buff, will also raise Noel's max brave attack and defense, while also transforming his brave attack and HP attack into a fierce siphon and scourge, uh, respectively. So in Noel's crystal level 65, or skill 3, is called Shaving Slash, which halves the single target's brave followed by a melee brave attack. Additionally, it raises Noel's attack for two turns. So just like all crystal level 65 skills, this skill does not increase the turn count due to the no action delay. However, usage during friend support or summon actions will definitely count as a turn. So this attack is one of the first Crystal Level 65s that we uh, see that actually does an attack instead of just boosting the abilities. <clears throat> this can come in handy for those enemies that will have high amounts of Brave and are about to do an HP attack to the party. So think about it, it's really, really useful if the enemy will be attacking right after Noel. So definitely plan accordingly. And finally, we have Noel's EX ability Meteor Javelin. So Meteor Javelin is a 3 hit uh, Brave plus HP attack that is repeated 4 times. It will ignore the enemy's defense similar to Prompto's Crack Shot, and Stolen Brave can overflow up to 120% of Max Brave. 
It would also deal 20% total HP to non-targets during its last actual hit. So it's not a really, it's not a bad EX ability. It really does, it really does get the uh, work done, and it gets even better when the plus Baron is applied. So if you're gonna use an EX ability Meteor Javelin on a broken target, uh, Meteor Javelin will turn into Meteor Javelin Plus, which deals 50% extra total HP damage to non-targets at the last HP attack. So as all veteran players should know how the first 50 passes should work for each character in the game, I will definitely be covering his crystal level 54 to level 70. But for those characters that are new to the game and are not 100% sure, um, just, just know that the first 50 crystal levels are mainly used to strengthen the character's abilities and at times will grant extra usages and boost uh, to the damage output for each skill. However, I will definitely make sure to cover the significant additions found in his extended abilities. So in particular, uh, Noah's crystal level 54 is buff boost speed uh, all, which slightly raises the party's max brave and speed while buffed. So I believe this is a great aura uh, that definitely will benefit the party, especially in those longer fights. At crystal level 55, Noel receives Tempest Strike Extend, which grants Noel some additional uh, benefits to his Tempest Strike skill. So when using Tempest Strike, um, <clears throat> it increases the number of hits to four. So <clears throat> instead of it being two, so while tremendously raising the total brave potency, which means he will be hitting a lot harder than normal. Additionally, when the target is already broken, Tempest Strike will transform into Tempest Strike Plus, which resets the target's break state before the Brave attack actually hits, while also moderately raising Noel's Brave potency. This skill gets a great boost with uh, its extension skill. Uh, the extension skills are always the main crystal level passes that make the base commands even stronger than they usually are, so there's something to keep in mind right there. All right, at crystal level 58, Noel received buff attack and boost up, which moderately raises uh, Noel's max Brave and attack while buff. So this is pretty a normal skill that many units have, but the increase is always well, uh, well received, so definitely. All right, and then at crystal level 60, this is what Noel received the biggest change for his initial kit. Um, so when using Gale Fang, <clears throat> it greatly raises Noel's Brave potency. It also allows Stolen Brave to overflow up to 150% of max Brave. So just like we talked about the, uh, just like we talked about this at the introduction of his skills, uh, when the target is broken, Gale Fang transformed into its plus variant, Gale Fang Plus, which moderately raises the Brave potency, and Stolen Brave can overflow up to 180% of max Brave. So it's a big jump right there, 30% jump right there. So this is really good because not a lot of units that we currently have in the game can reach this level of overflow. You know, if you pair no with a Brave Battery before utilizing this skill, he can really dish out some extra damage right here to the enemies that are on the field. Additionally, while Last Hunter is active, it will turn Brave Attack into a Fear Siphon, which increases the number of Brave hits to two, four hits in total with his base stats, while also greatly raising total Brave potency. And then when attacking a broken target or breaking a target, it will also grant Noel a uh, low action delay, so he'll be able to, to pretty much come back and attack right again. And then when breaking the target, it does not consume the ability uh, used on, on its next turn. And this will be apparent when he has a white aura surrounding his body, that is how you pretty much know that you have a free uh, ability usage if you're not aware of how the passive works. Additionally, Stolen Brave can overflow up to 150% of Max Brave. And at Crystal Level 68, Noel receives Radiance of Destruction and Power, which raises his Max Brave and attack by 20%. So as you guys can see, Noel's is getting his boost. Everything, everything that you get for Crescent Passives is going to be raising his amount of damage output that he can do, um, boosting his attack, boosting his... Um, his max brave, that kind of stuff. So we can see that Noel is really focused on that attack stat while also re maintaining that speed stat as well. And then at Chris level 70, Noel receives uh, Shape Slash Extend, which just like all level 70 passives, it increases the utility of the Chris level 65 skill by granting Noel an attack up effect to the skill. So now we're gonna get into uh, looking at his 15 CP, 35 CP, and his EX weapon and what they bring to the table. So first off, Noel's 15 CP is the Flame Fossil, which as you can see from the stats below from level 1 to level 35, provides Noel with the affinity ability The Last Human, uh, which when using Tempest Strike or Tempest Strike Plus, raises the, his Brave Potency even further, and while Last Hunter is active, grants one additional stack and extends its duration um, <clears throat> throughout the entire fight. I think it's like 6 turns actually, and it's 420 CP as you guys can see. All right, Noel's 35 CP weapon is the Rune Tooth, which just like his 15 CP, you can see that the stat table here from level one to 35. Just be, just be mindful, it grants Noel with the affinity ability Series Guardian, which when using Gale Fang or Gale Fang Plus, raises the Brave potency 
uh, of his ability, of this ability, even further, while also granting one additional stack of Last Hunter and extending its dur uh, duration as well. And as you guys can see, this would be a cost of 20 CP. So Noel's EX weapon is the Guardian's Edge. It's just like the 15 CP and the 35 CP weapons you can see here. The stat table from level 1 to 35. And this weapon grants Noel with the affinity ability Power to Rewrite the Future, which obviously allows Noel to use his EX ability Meteor Javelin. So we talked about that earlier, but this is what you guys can actually see a little more in detail right here. So as you can see, Meteor Javelin does a lot of different things. Um, <clears throat> if you pair him with, with Selfie, uh, with her Aura EX ability, we might be able to bring his uh, his EX recast speed from normal to the fast tier. Um, so I definitely might want to pair him with her. Just something to keep in mind if you're looking for team compositions, definitely. Um, but I think this is pretty. This is going to be pretty good. I'm glad he has. A, I'm glad he actually has a normal uh, recast speed for his EX ability. So looking at the first limit break right here, we see it grants Meteor Javelin power, which slightly raises the brave damage dealt with Meteor Javelin and Meteor Javelin Plus. At two out of three limit breaks, it grants Meteor Javelin Buff Plus, which when using Meteor Javelin and Meteor Javelin Plus will grant Null uh, with power to seize the future for six turns. So what what is power to seize the future? <laughs> Quick question, right? Uh, power to seize the future raises the party's max brave and attack, just like an aura. Um, it also raises Noel's own max brave and attack even further. Um, I don't know how many, how much he can get in terms of percentage, but as you guys can see, he just gets stronger and stronger as he goes. And then, looking at three out of three limit break or max limit break, it slightly raises the recast speed of Meteor Javelin. So definitely try to go out max limit break this weapon right here. It'll definitely come in handy for you guys. It definitely re uh, increases that recast speed for you. So moving on to Noel's armor, he gets Noel's gloves, which I also included in the stat table below. Uh, Noel's gloves uh, provides Noel with Will of Life and Destruction, which grants Noel an HP plus 680 and a max spray plus 220 for 10 CP. All right, Noel's 90 CP armor is called Berserker's Ruby. So here's a quick stat table uh, that you guys can see down below. Uh, so Berserker's Ruby provides Noel with the Will of Bravery and Defense, which grants Noel initial brave plus 110 and defense plus 84 for 10 CP. So now I'm just looking at some uh, of the artifacts that Noel can have right here. As you guys can see, this is pretty much um, the standard passes that all units currently have. Attack plus 108, defense 126, uh, max brave 330, HP 1020. Those are pretty much the, the exact same uh, uh, passives, uh, artifact passives that each character in the game currently has. But getting here, uh, these passives are unique to Noel outside of the uh, buff guard up two star passes as you guys can see on the bottom right. So, <clears throat> Mighty Tempest Blow 2 star increases the brave damage dealt with Tempest Blow and Tempest Blow Plus by 10%. Mighty Gale Fang 2 star increases brave damage dealt with Gale Fang and Gale Fang Plus by 10%. Youth from the Future Boost uh, raises the attack and speed by 5% when Last Hunter is active. And then obviously, Buff Guard up 2 star raises defense by 10% uh, with active buffs. So, just quick, with I re recommend definitely going after Youth from the Future Boost. Um, definitely having those right there because as you guys can see it raises attack and speed even further by 5% Especially when he has that last hunter last hunter buff active. So it's something to keep in mind Additionally, I might go for an attack 108 or a max break 330 just so I can get the full uh, Potential out of his uh, skills and the damage that he can do so just something to keep in mind guys like I said um, <clears throat> But I, I think definitely I'll go for youth from the future boost attack 108 and Max Brave 334 recommendations. All right, so the story event Act 2, Chapter 5 that Noel will, Noel will be releasing in, I hear is pretty legit. Um, I have not actually gotten this far in the JP version of the game. Boo-hoo me, right? <laughs> but from what I hear from the communities that I'm a part of, it will be quite interesting. Uh, with that being said, I will be using Noel, Noctis, and Locke, hence the photo that I have above. <laughs> um, I actually like all three of these characters, uh, with Noctis being my favorite big Final Fantasy 15 fan. But since this is a story chapter, I'm sure there'll be some surprises within the story itself. Uh, one thing for sure is that Noel will be playing a large role in the chapter. And there is an additional portion to this chapter that uh, we should receive when we get the next raid boss. Um, I don't want to spoil it, <laughs> but let's just say some additional weapons may be coming our way. That may help increase our abilities for certain characters. Uh, but that's another story for another video though. <laughs> so there is a certain way to actually utilize him efficiently and effectively. And I'll definitely go into detail here. So at Noel's very first turn when the quest starts, always start off with his skill 2 Gale Fang um, to gain immediate access to Fear Siphon and Scourge, while also granting Noel his first stack of Last Hunter. 
if there are multiple enemies on the screen um, that are not broken as of yet, you can then use Fear Siphon. So Fear Siphon should break the target. And on Noel's next turn, um, his next ability usage won't consume an actual ability usage. Um, you'll f basically know that the next turn he won't that he won't be using an ability usage. He'll start glowing white or have a white aura around him. All right. So next, if you follow his skill one, Tempest Strike or Tempest Strike Plus, uh, it'll make the broken target become unbroken um, before you should basically be able to break him again with the remaining hits of the attack. So. Just remember, since he's glowing white at the time, this is not going to count as the ability usage. So similar to Vayne, when you guys are using that, that uh, Force of Will Plus, it'll re-break the target. This is the same mechanic here. So quite honestly, this is mostly effective against trash waves or fights with multiple bosses, as Noah will be able to kind of like rotate throughout both targets, while at the same time making sure that those uh, targets that are broken uh, get re-broken at the same time. So my thoughts on Noel. Now, I could be biased, as I was introduced to him kind of well after Final Fantasy 13 2s uh, release. And um, I didn't really know who he was until the City of Final Fantasy Opera Opera J JP. And I definitely have grown a liking to him based upon his kit and just the mechanics that he brings to the table. Um, I think he's a really great melee unit that has a lot of potential that also has unique mechanics not often seen with earlier melee characters that we currently have. So I do like using Vayne and I like to compare him to Vayne just because of the mechanics definitely. Um, but I do like using Vayne and his mechanics definitely make him stand out um, from other units um, to deal that significant amounts of damage. So, eh, should you pull for him? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I mean, I'm going to pull for him definitely. Like I said, I'm biased, so that's definitely why I want to pull for him. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I know his kit is unique in a sense and has a lot of potential to be your main damage dealer if you're lacking a great melee damage dealer right there. Or you need basically an additional one that can do something that's not really seen, you know? Um, I definitely think that Vayne is a great alternative if you do not pull for him though. So don't think he is something that you need to go for. Um, he's just a character that is similar um, and has a unique type of uh, mechanic in his kit, okay? And we do have, you know, Charlotta and Ultimicia that are coming around the corner. I know a lot of people are really gunning for those characters. So if you don't want to spend resources right here um, for Noel, just know that Vayne is a great substitute that obviously right now, uh, he's still doing work. He's still being used in a lot of uh, party compositions. And if you're saving for Shalada and Ultimacy, like I said, um, if you skip him here, you definitely will be okay. Um, but at the same time, you will be missing that extra character that could help out or bring something new to the table. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you did enjoy the video, Please leave a like and a comment, guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon for notifications of my next video. I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.